we are going to design hanger jaw in this tutorial so first of all the units are in inches we have to change units go to browser document setting and unit type now the selected units are in millimeter but we needed the units in inches so go here on this option change active units click here and this window will appear change active units unit type we have to select inches or according to your drawing click ok now the units are in inches so first we have to open the sketch so here on create you can see create sketch so click here when you click here you will see three planes this is the front plane this is the right side plane and this is the top plane so we have to select a plane to make our 2d sketch and then we convert it into 3d so this face this is the front i am going to select it so select this one so now the front plane is normal to us you can also see here on this cube the 3d cube if you uh, rotate it it will be rotated the view is also rotated now we needed the front so click here on this cube the front side now the front face is normal to us okay select the line tool and we have to start the line from this origin this is the origin so first point left click here we draw first point then move the cursor in in downside so you add a vertical line you can also see the angle is 90 and there is also a constraint uh, showing with this line so place it here we draw this line then move your cursor like that to draw uh, an other horizontal line like that don't try to add a, a line at some angle just try to do the line with 90 degree and this line is horizontal place it like that then move below like that to add a vertical line like that and then move in that way so i am going to stop the line here so select it so we deactivated the line tool so this these three lines i added four lines i added and it also added some constraint automatically like you can see here is a vertical constraint here is we have this uh, constraint the perpendicular constraint okay next we select the dimension tool and add the dimension so this line uh, we know it's 0 0.5 inches and then we have to specify the dimension of this line this line has the dimension of 2.75 like that and we have to see the distance from this point to this point so i am going to select this point and then select this point and place the uh, dimension here so this dimension we have 1.25 like that now we have to see what we can do now select the line tool and draw a line like that a vertical line like that so place the line here then move upward add a vertical line like that then move like that to add another horizontal line then specify a line like that and this line is at some angle just a little angle like that and then move move the cursor like that to add a horizontal line and add this line like that just auto track this point like that place the line here then close sketch here to add another line coincident with this point okay click ok right click so we deactivated this line tool now we have to specify the uh, remaining dimensions okay select the dimension tool and we have to specify a dimension from this line to this line this dimension we have uh, 0 0.75 like that okay now see which dimension we can add now so from this this point to this dimension this dimension we have 4.5 like that and fillet tool add a fillet here and the radius of this fillet is 0 0.5 type it like that okay and again dimension tool and this dimension this dimension is 0 0.25 like that again select the fillet tool and select this point and this fillet we have 1.25 like that 
okay and select the dimension tool this dimension we have to specify so select this line and this dimension we have three point sorry 2.5 it's 3.5 sorry 3.5 like that just zoom out so we have this sketch like that zoom in and out to fit this sketch okay now we have to specify the remaining dimension this dimension this line select this line and this dimension is 0 0.75 like that and we have another dimension so let's see which dimension is remaining so from this point to this line we have this dimension it's already defined okay this dimension is already defined Black tool from this point to this point. Leave this dimension. We have this dimension between this line and this line this dimension is 0 0.75 right okay next we have to make this coincident on here so select the constraint coincident select this point and this line to make it coincident now you can see everything is turned into black every line is blank we already defined all the dimension and all the constraint to fully define this sketch okay now finish this sketch and go to isometric view click here on home so we have the isometric view and extrude click here select this area for the profile and you will see a arrow like that just drag it like that so you are adding the material so this depth is 3 and we adding our operation is new body and the distance is 3 inches click ok now again select the create sketch and this time we are going to create a sketch on this face so select this face okay select the line tool draw a line like that then again start the line from this point draw another line like that and other line like that and just auto track this point so this line is facing each other or you can also add a relation horizontal vertical select this line and this line okay now select the circle tool draw a circle like that and we know the radius of this circle the radius is 1.75 just place this dimension like that we have to change this dimension into a uh, radial dimension so just select this dimension right click and change to toggle to radius so now you the dimension is in the radius so define it 1.5 okay now we can change it like that next we are going to add some relation so select the tangent relation select the circle and this line to add a tangent relation between them select this line this circle and this line to add a tangent relation between them next we have to select the dimension tool select this circle and center of the circle and this line to define the dimension between them and this dimension is true okay now we added the tangent relation so select the trim tool we have to trim this portion this portion and this area of this circle now we make this profile so just 
finish the sketch and extrude extrude this area move it in the upward direction because we are adding the material under the operation you can see we have join so specify this uh, dimension the distance we have the distance of 0 0.5 okay so we added this feature again create sketch and open the sketch on this face and the view will be normal to you then again select the circle center diameter circle and now we have to add a circle which is concentric with this with this edge so if you move if you uh, after selecting the circle if you move your mouse here you can automatically track this center like that if you move like randomly uh, try to find this and you can see you can add the center which is already co concentric with this edge but the other way is that you just add a circle randomly at any position then select the constraint concentric concentric make the center of two circles uh, coincident with each other so select the concentric select this circle and this or you have a common center point and then define the dimension so this dimension is 1.5 okay finish the sketch move to isometric select extrude select this face and now we we want to the operation type we want to make the cut but the direction is in in the upper side and there is no material that's why it's not cutting we have to change the direction in the other side and here we can uh, under the extend type change it to all so it will cut the material through all to all the material coming the way of this circle so press ok so now we make this cut and just verify something ok 1.75 ok dimensions are correct now the hanger jaw design is done 